situation in uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, I think, is dire. It has occupied um, a lot of attention by people, but not enough, frankly. I think what's happening in the DRC is the most frightening development in the world, because it's not just rape as a, as a war crime, which we've seen. It's rape as a war strategy with an intent to destroy community, with an intent to destroy villages, with an intent to destroy the family structure. It's very cheap. You know, you don't need to spend money on scud missiles or hand grenades. You actually just get 50 men who you know have AIDS, and you send them into a village and you have them rape the entire village. When you see that form of violence being allowed, you realize that the whole boundaries of what's permissible have been expanded. And if we allow those kind of atrocities to occur in the Congo, we basically give license to them everywhere. It is clear that women hold fa the fabric of society together, and by then humiliating them and treating them as if they were animals, uh, it is a, another way to undo a peaceful system. Women have been made to feel like what's happened is their fault, and it's their shame, and it's their humiliation. And we know, my God, it's anybody's fault but the women being raped. If, if there is somebody who stands up for other people within a community, that person not only puts herself out, but she does then become central to the building of a new society. One of the great things about having a radio show and letting women tell their stories publicly is that you crush the taboo and you begin to give women power through voice. And I think that work is crucially important on the ground. You know, I heard a woman say, like, once I began to speak, I became free. And I think to give women that opportunity and then to give other women the opportunity to hear it is like a double win. It clearly makes a difference when the First Lady or the Secretary of State uh, or uh, a foreign minister from another country comes in and says, this is unacceptable, we don't live this way, you can't do it. But, uh, you know, for better or worse, we leave. And the women at the grassroots are there and they deal with this every day. And that's why it's important generally to speak out about it and to honor uh, the women that are really doing something about it. I think it's all of our responsibility to make sure the women in the Congo thrive because the Congo is the heart of Africa and women are at the heart of Congo. And all of our destinies are linked to the welfare of Africa.